So welcome everybody to this brand new video where I will be installing a short shifter on my Calibra and I will also be refurbishing all the bushings. First off I got a brand new selecting rod which is actually steel instead of the original plastic which bends and breaks which is basically terrible so all the replacement parts are now basically this steel rod which is much better than the original that was pretty cheap and you can get it almost anywhere. Then I also got this awesome short shifter from eBay for like 15 bucks, they go for like 70 or some ridiculous number, but I got real cheap. So I just went ahead and bought it, but you can also make your own, you just have to move the pivot point from the center a bit to the side, like 15 millimeters or something like that. Then I also got a nice package from Gemma Motorsports from Germany, got brand new bushings and everything to rebuild your shifter, even if you don't install the short shifter, it's still good to actually refurbish everything so here you can see my old shifter you can see how floppy it is that's actually in gear and the throw is pretty long on this shifter so you can see that it's also in fourth that was pretty bad so yeah really need refurbishing so this is how much play there was with the old bushings it was pretty bad and the plastic rod actually bends a lot when you're shifting so it makes for really sloppy shifting and it's pretty bad so the new stuff should make it really better. So first off just go to your engine bay if you have an 8 valve it's gonna be pretty simple if you have a bigger engine it's gonna be quite tight. So first off you have to unclip the top thingy the steel clip which then pull out, pulls out the pin, but I had a lot of trouble pulling that pin out as you will see later, but first you have to do that. Then just use a screwdriver or anything to unclip the plastic rod for the selecting rod. It kind of broke on me, so I just threw it away, nothing special, I got a new one anyway. So then I pretty much took it off, then tried pulling the pin out and uh, as you will see here it didn't exactly work, I literally fought this damn pin for like 6 hours and it just wouldn't come out. Been at it for like an hour or two, been trying to pull this pin out, it's just not coming out, god damn it. Might have to take the gearbox mount off completely. Well, shit. So then, after finally wiggling the damn shifter around, after loosening on both sides and moving it around, I finally got the pin out. Six hours later, it's out. So we loosened it here, and on the shifter end, then we wiggled it back and forth really hard, smashed it. Finally, it's out. Here's the old rubbish. Now I'm gonna replace everything, put on the short shifters, then back together. Jesus Christ. So take off these C-clips with some clampers, take out these bushings that are worn to shit, take out another C-clamp, get this pin out for this bushing, and then we're pretty much golden. So now to rebuild this thing, first take the C-clips off and just slide the bushings out. Then I just stripped everything. I cleaned off everything that I had to reuse, the parts that go on the gearbox and the shifter linkage for the inside. Then just installed the brand new bushings. Um, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, just replace where the old ones were. Then I used some grease, I used graphite grease, you can, you should use actual plastic grease, the white one, I think it's lithium because it's thicker and it's gonna be much better, but I just had this, so I used it. Here it is pretty much assembled to put the bushings on, put the center bushings inside, then just have to reattach these parts correctly. And then you also have to reinstall the C-clips and uh, if you lube it up and it moves nicely then I think you're pretty golden with this. These little bushings for the selector rod were also pretty shot so I just used some other ones I had laying around. So here it is, everything is working nicely and then I just cleaned everything up a little bit more and it was time to put it back into the car. And here is also the old shifter, which is pretty nasty as you can see. So yeah, looks pretty damn mint now. So 
So here's the biggest pain in the ass in the world. It caused me so much trouble. It literally took like five or six hours to get this out for no apparent reason. So this goes through the shifter. Here's the brand new sexy shifter. You just gotta grease this up and put it together and throw away the old garbage. Jesus, that's so nasty. Then adjust it where it goes to the linkage to the rod that goes into the car. Tighten that up. So this is my shiny linkage and I just tried to put it on and I ran into a problem. This appeared very sideways, it was like weird, so then I was looking at it and uh, oh yeah, this entire piece is on backwards, it's supposed to be flipped like that. So yeah, I gotta take the C-clips off, turn this crap around and then I guess it's gonna be fine. So it really took me the whole day to get that damn thing out and I rebuilt it then I also had to take it apart again because I kind of put it together wrong so it was night outside so I just stopped for the day and I just had to continue next day. Now that I had everything installed I had to actually set up the actual shifter so it would shift uh, in properly into gears and the position was correct so I just undid this bolt which connects to the selecting rod then I took uh, this little cap, plastic cap out of the gearbox with some pliers then you actually have to stick a drill bit inside that hole so you lock it into the correct position you have to tilt it to the left a bit so it's kind of like between first and second in neutral then you also stick a drill bit by the sh actual shifter in the car under the boot so you also lock it in place here so basically you have a neutral between first and second on both points and then you just tighten the bolt down there and you're pretty you should be pretty good i did it like this and it works great i applied some extra grease inside the problem is my uh, shifter is kind of worn inside so it, it's much better now as you can see now but um yeah i would have to rebuild also this shifter in the future but the throw is so much shorter it's so much nicer it's so much tighter and um it's basically just a great improvement for any car and it actually didn't cost me that much it's around 50 bucks if you get the short shifter cheap and uh, that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching